Get them, spit them, but let's my shoe in the denim. I'll put the records on What's up, you guys? What's up, divas and divos? So this video today is gonna be one of those affordable lace front ways. You guys know that's how we do. This one you could pick up from elevatestyles.com. Bro, they got all the latest styles. And this one right here, I've been dying to try the Bobby Boss brand. This is their glueless lace front, and it has the HD transparent lace. The one that I have, her name, I think it's pronounced Charlie. I'm not really sure. You guys already know how I can botch up a name. The style is the MLF. 456 and the color that I have is the TT412613 black elastic band in the unit the quality of a human hair wig for the price of a synthetic one I like the way they have this hooked up and also I'm feeling this lace it is really nice lace especially for a synthetic wig and the parting so they really made this look like a human hair lace front wig. Let's have like all the baby hairs in the front. Let's just get into this video real quick. For you guys, we're just gonna go ahead and apply this lace wig. So as you guys see, it does fit properly. I like the whole fact that it is, you know, really soft lace. Synthetic wigs are really coming, you know, or have come in really far. So, you know, this is not your average grandma's lace front, okay? So I'm just gonna take my scissors and then I thought I would be a little bit extra and try the eyebrow trimmers with it because I wanted to see how smooth it would cut being that it's something it's a synthetic wig i'm just going to take my rat tail comb and i'm just going to pull out some of the fronts of the hairline just so that way i can make baby hairs in this unit or just style it or wispy hairs and also to adhere like certain parts of the wig so i'm not going to glue it down but i'm just going to use a little bit of hairspray and i'm not going to use hairspray on the whole entire front perimeter because let's just be honest, this is a synthetic wig. We're not going to use a whole lot of different products for it, but it does not fit like all the way down as you guys see here. So I did pull out some of my hairs in front of it at the very edge just to blend it in and up, like, you know, make it look natural. But being that it's synthetic, I'm only going to use hairspray in some of the fronts of the unit, like in only certain spots. I'm not gonna take the whole unit and adhere it down because I wouldn't want to sleep in this. So as you guys see, I'm just pulling some of the hair down right here as I was talking about because the wig did not reach all the way past my hairline. It was a little bit, you know, in the front, a little bit different. So I just pulled some hair forward and just used a different hairspray this time. First, I did use the bed head and then I used the got to be. But quite frankly, honestly, you guys, that hairspray to me works the same and it has to just do with your body chemistry so i really think like the got to be and the bed head kind of works the same if i was to really really compare it i would just say you would probably get like an extra day hold where you would put your sideburn hairs at with the uh, bed head opposed to using the got to be now i'm going to go back to the bed head i'm just going to sculpt those little wispy hairs in um and i'm using my favorite green toothbrush you guys i do spray the hairspray on the toothbrush only because the hair is synthetic and even if it wasn't if it was human i really don't want the hair to be all hard so that's the reason why i spray on the toothbrush but instead i'm going to use some of my dollar tree salon selectives hairstyling mousse this mousse is amazing girl let me tell you it's only a dollar and it's a really great product make sure you check the dollar tree out for this product why spend more when you can spend less and you can still get the best oh that rhymed okay go april anyway i'm gonna just go ahead and continue on with this but as i said the lace is a little bit light so i'm just gonna take some of my pressed powder and blend it into the lace so that way it'll look a little bit more like you know scalpage okay but pressed powder always works best and now it's time to style this you get so much parting i think it was 13 by 7 inches of parting or 13 by 6 either way you get a lot of parting in a synthetic unit and being that it's a lot of hair and it's like a loose wavy kind of texture you want to make sure that you don't kind of get too wild with the comb so that's the reason why i take my fingers and comb through it and i just took a little bit of the bedhead hairspray and sprayed it on the hair just to push it back a little bit and then i'm going to also take a little bit more and then i'm going to just take my favorite toothbrush once again and just smooth it down and then just take the nozzle of my blow dryer and use that on medium to high heat and smooth it down so that way it kind of like trains the hair to stay back in place 
This wig is really nice. You can do many different styles with it, especially because you get so much parting and the hairline is really thinned out. So that's what I do like about this one. You cannot go wrong with a synthetic wig like this. Like Bobby Boss is really coming through and I think they did a really nice job on the synthetic lace front unit. You guys let me know what you think. Now for one, I do like it. It's cute. The lace is not as transparent or HD as I thought. So you definitely want to put like some pressed powder on it or the tinting spray. I do like this color a lot, but this is a lot of hair. This one right here, you definitely don't need to pull it all to the front. You could just make sure that you pull it to the back. I'm not really sure how it looks right now because I can't see the back. It is a little bit big on me, so I do have like some space in it. So if you have like, you know what I'm saying, like a bigger head because you got so much brain, you super duper smart girl, or you got a whole bunch of hair, then this will definitely fit your head. I do like the fact that it has the black elastic band so you can make it tighter. And I think that's what helped a lot. This one is really cute. This color is cute gradually went into the lighter color it's different and for a synthetic wig i'm glad that somebody made it affordable plus you know we can tweak it and make it look still realistic even if it's not human hair so i'm saying this is really cute this collection is really nice i was excited to try this wig you know elevate styles they have a bunch of different styles i think they always get like the newest units before like a lot of the other websites make sure you follow them on their social media bobby boss it came through for us synthetic girls okay so let me know what you guys think of the unit i'm gonna leave all the information down below for you guys let me know what you think of this one do you like the color do you like the style of it all right you guys so on that note i got to go make sure you rate comment subscribe share this video with everybody that you like or don't like i really don't care but share the video and i love you guys and i'll see you in a soon to come video Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.